It's been an amazing week here at Card Casino Bratislava. Thousands of Norwegians flocked to the Slovakian capital for a week of action-packed poker. Eight new Norwegian champions were crowned legends in their own right. Saturday night, Monica Vaca, Unibet ambassador, was the biggest legend of them all after outlasting a field of 750 entries, including a very difficult final table to win the 107,900 euro top prize. Check out the highlights of the final table of the main event. Our chip leader, Monica Vaca, waking up with king, queen, offsuit under the gun, is getting ready to open. And making the standard min raise. Let's see if anybody else wakes up with anything. Legend Tom Bedell, who does like playing suited cards, folding them, respecting Monica's under the gun opening range. Oh no, Helge Biorlo. Amazing spot for him to double up his short stack if he can find a way to get it in. He is jamming. And Vaca may feel if it folds around to her, she's getting the right price. But first, we have Ennis here with a very similar king-queen making the fold, reducing one of Vaca's outs if she does make the call. Vaca asking for a count. Perhaps she can get away from this hand. Is going through the math. Very gifted online and live player. If she does make the call, she will still be with the chip lead. It isn't a big portion of her stack. However, she knows that Bjorlo will be tight with his shove. Helge doesn't actually want to call, but Monica calls. And Helge Bjorlo will be pleased to see how far he is ahead. It's an amazing spot for him to double. Monica shaking her head in disbelief. And let's see if Helge can double his stack. We did see one of those queens out in Ennis' hand. And Monica, so far the ace queen is ahead on the six do six flop. Bjorlo still has to fade a king on the turn or river. And the six of spades on the turn. So there are other outs for a chop, such as a deuce. And it's a king of clubs on the river. Oh my God. Monica Vaca does it and sends Helge Bjorlo to the rail in eighth place for 11,100 euro. Monica, actually it seems like she feels a little bit bad about this, but this is poker. And Big Al standing up, giving a hug. Monica giving her opponent a hug, a true ambassador of the game. But it was a nice run for Helge turning his 800 euro buy-in into 11,100 euro on day five. Charting Kronstad with the King Jack reaching for some chips. And it's a little bit more than a min raise to 550. Vaca folding away her bad suited ace. But meanwhile, Big Al here with the Queens. Ali Al Sadie, who has earned the nickname Big Al this week. Finding a good spot to get his cards in. Will be coming in with a three bet. It is just a call. Playing a little bit trappy from the hijack, hoping somebody else is going to do the dirty work for him. And Tobias Lechnis, he does have a good squeeze spot if he chooses to take it. We can see he would run up against the Queens of Al. 
perhaps saving his tournament life there with just a call because look at this. What a card distribution. We have Patrick Patana Karun waking up with the tens and off a two million stack, there's almost zero chance his stack isn't getting in. Just a bit of a cooler spot, but let's see how the other players react. Ennis with a similar King Jack of Kronstadt will likely go in the muck. Kronstadt quickly folding as well. And will Big Al be calling? Will he be coming in over the top? And he is coming in over the top. That should get Lechness out of the way. Tobias is thinking things over. There is a side pot if he thinks he is ahead of Big Al. Perhaps we do see a call, but likely this will go into the buck. Lechness, a very strong mixed game player, going through his options. Isn't on big no limit hold them final tables like this every day. And does lay it down. Very good discipline there. But meanwhile, Patanakaran needs a 10 or some other way to get ahead of the Queens. It isn't looking good. Multiple players out of their seats to watch whether Patanakaran can get there. The short stacks hope not. No love on the five deuce eight flop, but that would have given Tobias the top set if he was able to find the call. Laughing about this now, sharing with Tom Bedell his hand. Nine of diamonds on the turn, just two outs to save Patana Karen. Will Big Al's Queens hold one more card? And it's the five of diamonds on the river. No love for Botanic Caron. You can't blame him for getting it in with the tens. He will have 13,700 reason to wipe away any tears thanks to collecting the seventh place prize. Big Al thinking what to do with the mystery cards. He is reaching for a raise. And it looks like a little bit more than a min raise. Tom Bedell finding a fold. Meanwhile, the ladies for Tobias Lechness. There's really only one move to be done. He is thinking about whether he wants to call or shove. He's never folding here. Not really any ICM implications for Lechness at the moment, being the short stack, and does jam the lot. Oh my, Ennis, waking up with the big slick. He's likely going nowhere as well. It's a matter of whether he's going to call or isolate here with players behind him and an undergun open. It is a decision for him. And we can see he is counting out the chips, still deciding what he wants to do. And while it's not necessarily a jam, it is a jam, folks. So full isolation here by Ennis with the 7.1 million stack. Kronstadt also waking up with a hand that he may have wanted to get involved with beforehand. So perhaps saving some chips with his ace-queen not matching up very well against queens. The rest of the table folded, and it is a classic flip. Queens versus ace-king for Lechness's tournament life.
Gleckness is probably resigned with his fate either way, but has many poker fans from around the world. It would be great to see him double. But it's a king out of the window, followed by an 8 or 10, falling very behind right away. Needs a lot of love. And it's also standing up being this pot is meaningful for him. But the Jack of Diamonds on the turn, opening up other possibilities for Lechness, now has an open-ended straight draw. His queen, however, is no good because that gives his opponent Broadway. And the five of diamonds on the river. We have lost Tobias Lechness, one of the legends of the game, the president of the Norwegian Poker Association, in sixth place for 16,600 euro. Very well played, all tournament long by Lechness. He was also on the final table of the fixed limit hold'em earlier this week and consistently with deep runs during the Europe European Mixed Game Championship leading up to this festival. Meanwhile, down to five-handed play with each player locking up 20,300. Kronstad with a decision here, facing a 16 big blind stack, pocket fours. It is a little bit too much to potentially be shoving. But Kronstad, it's something else in mind. It all goes in. Big Al hoping for a call that he can ladder up with his short stack. It's a good spot for him if Kronstad hits the rail, a free ladder up off a short stack. And Tom Bedell, we never know what Tom Bedell is going to do, but this is certainly a strong hand. Did ask for a count. It would be for half his stack. But Bedell seems to get reads on players at the right times. We could see he would be slightly behind with a flip. Looks like he's trying to talk himself into a call. Bedell taking his time. He is a WSOP bracelet winner and one of the true legends of Norwegian poker history with more than three million in live poker caches. Let's see what Gucci Man decides to do here. Does call, folks. So Kronstadt will be racing for his tournament life, not in the worst of shape. We can see from the graphic, it, it's a pure coin flip when taking into account the dead cards. If he does double up here, he'll be in great shape, and Bedell will be the one that has some work cut out for him. And right out of the gate, Bedell connecting with his jack on the nine jack deuce, two spade flop, nobody with black cards in their hand. So Kronstedt really down to a four to save his tournament. Still in his seat despite Bedell getting to two pair. It's sort of an irrelevant card. And the nine of spades on the river on the river. We have lost Charting Kronstad in fifth place for twenty thousand three hundred euros. He played his heart out, had fun the entire way, providing laughs and smiles for the entire table. Very good result, and I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of the Norwegian in the future. Tom Bedell with a monster from under the gun. 
especially during four-handed play, will be opening here. We know Tom likes to open wide. This is certainly not the case, so it could be a disguised ace-king, despite it being from under the gun. And Ennis with pocket fours would be able to play the hand the position, may call, may three bet, all options are on the table. Does just call Vaca easily folding the 9-5 offsuit with the chip lead. And is this a spot Big Al makes a move? Ali Al Sadi has watched other players hit the rail with his short stack, did have some chips very early into the final table, even was the sole player to snag the chip lead from Monica Vaca but now finds himself in a very precarious position. And will make the call. So already four million in the pot. Al with three quarters of a pot size bet behind, but does improve the two pair on the seven deuce deuce flop. Let's see if he tries to realize all his equity right now, and it would be difficult for either player to call or if he tries to slow play it, hoping to do a check jam. But no, he's going to take the initiative using his fold equity, understanding there's still two cards to come. But Bedell, thinking about other things, has no connectivity with this board. Al Sadie has not been getting out of line. But Bedell making the call, and you could see the nervousness by Big Al. He doesn't probably feel he's ahead. But he is a 3-1 to one favorite, but does have to fade any ace, any king. And Big Al, very eager to see what comes on the Turner River. If he can find a double up here to 10 million, who knows what happens from there. Jack of Diamonds on the turn, a safe card for Big Al. But oh no, the ace of spades on the river. Tom Bedell gets there, is being a true gentleman, understands that he got it in bed. Immediately shaking the hand of Ali Al Sadi, who took fourth place for 25,100 euro. Definitely a player that was fun to watch both today and on day four. But now we are down to just three players Tom Bedell with a heap of chips, Monica Vaca still with the chip lead. Monica Vaca folding her king on the button, playing a little bit tighter. Possibly a good thing with Bedell after losing his big stack, making a semi bluff on the turn in a monster pot against Ennis. Doesn't really have much time to play around with. I am surprised that wasn't the jam, but Tom Bedell plays by his own drum, but Ennis doing the work for him with a better hand, getting it in. Tom wasting no time and finding the call. We could be heads up if Ennis's A7 holds. And Tom Bedell, who has played fantastic poker, certainly with some unorthodox moves, both in the PLO final table and now today at the main event final table, doing a little bit song, a little bit of a dance, hoping for that four, cheering it on. Quite fun having Tom at the final table. And can Gucci Man get there? Not the worst flop at all for Tom Bedell. Nut flush draw, he's very happy about this. Ennis does improve to a pair, but any six, any club, and Bedell doubles up. And Bedell's asking for something. The three of spades on the turn, opening up also a wheel draw, so deuces are good as well. Pretty much tons of outs. Lots of hope here for Tom. He's rooting on his card. We've seen him get there before. But it's the blank eight of hearts on the river. So we lost our WSOP bracelet winner, Tom Bedell, in third place for 35,400 euros. And now we are set up for an epic heads-up affair between 
Monica Vaca, Unibet Ambassador, and Sigve Ennis, who has also played very calculated, very solid, and very good poker. And the players will go on a short break while setting up the heads up action. Ennis, who is now short on chips, is in a spot to find some back with the 15 big blinds. Is he going to play it slow? Is he going to play it fast? We know he's going to play it. And opting for a min-raise, perhaps trying to juice up the pot, but this could be showers for him. Vaca waking up with pocket tens, a beautiful spot. She's not slow playing at all, just putting max pressure on her opponent. Ennis wasting no time in finding the call. It could be over, Johnny. Ennis, though, still has some hope. A two-to-one underdog. Either player would be a worthy champion to fit their feet in their in those silky smooth slippers. Can Vaca hold with her tens? You play your heart out for five straight days, and Ennis is the one that seems more relaxed than Vaca. Vaca understands all the pressures on her. If Ennis gets there with a double, it's a whole new ball game, a whole new battle. But if the tens can hold, Vaca can go off for some celebrations, and it's a queen nine eight flop, a good one for Vaca. Even if Ennis hits his ace on the turn, there are still more outs now on the river, but so far the tens are miles ahead. The six of spades on the turn changes nothing. Ennis needing an ace and only an ace to survive. And the jack of diamonds on the river. Congratulations to Monica Vaca, Unibet Ambassador, for winning the main event for 107,900 euros. Meanwhile, Sigve Ennis, who played amazing poker for five straight days, we've had him on the feature table a number of times, second place for 65,700 euros. Both players have a reason to celebrate. Monica breathing a sigh of relief.